So today we have the latest on the iPhone 13. Latest looks looks like we have an incredible iPhone 12 camera upgrade to the new iPhone 13 with new sensors for the wide and ultra wide cameras. I want to share all of this info with you and some early information details of what we think the iPhone 13 release date and price might also be. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So the iPhone models have been selling really well where some models have been on sale now for over a month and a half. However, some of us were not super impressed on what the iPhone 12 has to offer with smaller batteries in some models and features like a 120Hz refresh rate display missing unlike our Android flagship cousins who do have this. So for those disappointed fans, we have faith in the iPhone 12 successor, the iPhone 13 or even the iPhone 12s and all the details we know so far including about the iPhone 13 design and specs and the iPhone 12s release date and price predictions. So right now the four iPhone 12 handsets are excellent smartphones and they take really great photos. In fact let me know if you own an iPhone 12 at the moment and have you taken some great photos on it. Let me know in the comments below and hit that like button at the same time. Cheers! So according to Min Chi Koo, an ever reliable Apple leaker, he has revealed that Apple plans to increase the aperture of the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max ultra wide camera. Currently the lens has a 2.4 aperture and a 5 element lens assembly. Koo persists that next year's Pro iPhones will have a 1.8 aperture and a 6 element lens. Just as with the larger sensors referenced above, this would give us more light into the lens and will also allow for a shallower depth of field. This change to the ultra wide sensor has us hoping the larger sensor change happens to the main wide camera as well. The iPhone 12 Pro Max also uses a new sensor shift optical image stabilization and with the iPhone 13 Pro Max and also in the iPhone 13 Pro, if we got the same technology of the stabilization and that mixed with these new aperture rates, we'd get some fantastic new photos in the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. In case you didn't know, sensor shift stabilization are featurely mostly found in high-end DSLR cameras and also in Huawei phones prior to the iPhone 12 gives us super clear looking photos and videos. In the iPhone 12 Pro Max wide camera, its main sensor, the sensor shift stabilization can make as many as 5,000 adjustments per second to keep the lens steady, which is five times the amount where the iPhone 11 cameras could. So you can imagine this combined together with those new lenses and also those new sensors, it's gonna be absolutely incredible. So just quickly then, this channel has just hit over 90,000 subscribers, what I'm over the moon about. So I've decided to do a giveaway and one lucky subscriber when we get over 100,000 subscribers will get their hands on this. It is an iPhone 12 Pro in specific blue. So when we get over 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. So make sure you're a subscriber and hit that bell notification to get some more details. And I'm also gonna give you a few more details how you can enter to possibly get your hands on this later on in this video, so stay tuned. Talking further about the iPhone 13 models, we have seen a leak from Ming-Chi Ku what is saying that next year we will get four iPhone 13 models just like the iPhone 12 models this year. And those four models will be the, exactly the same names as this year's but with just a 13 instead. So the lineup will be the iPhone 13 mini, the iPhone 13 normal, the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. We have also been told there will be no changes to the actual screen sizes and the main body shape of the phone except for a few tweaks here and there that Apple like to do when they bring out a new design like they did with the iPhone 12 this year. So quickly then, that giveaway I mentioned earlier, to possibly get your hands on that iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue, 
I would love to know from you right now if you're planning on getting the next iPhone and maybe you skip the iPhone 12 this year. Let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you're planning on getting a different phone like an Android phone. I'd love to know that as well. And when we get over 100,000 subscribers, I will be revealing who the winner is here on my channel. So make sure you have subscribed to this channel and hit that notification bell to find out if you'll be the lucky subscriber. So let's talk a bit more about those tweaks and changes to the design. It has been rumoured for a while that the iPhone 13 won't have a lightning port for wired charging or the ability to connect wired to a computer. Seeing that Laps tweets mentioning here that there will only be a MagSafe or a smart connector charging isn't a surprise. It also builds off Apple's recent decision to stop shipping devices with charging bricks in order to reduce costs and electrical waste for themselves. Another leak we have heard for the current iPhone 13 prototype allegedly uses a Touch ID sensor hidden beneath the display, with the active area covering the bottom half of the screen for easy access. The iPad Air 4 just got introduced very recently. The Touch ID was on the new device and it was the first time a Touch ID button was added on a brand new design in ages. The new button is the actual power button on the side and this allows you to use your finger to unlock the actual iPad. If this does come to be, I'm sure lots of fans will be welcoming this as many Android phones feature this ability at the moment. Especially also at the moment that COVID-19 and wearing masks and the iPhone not always sure to unlock or even setting up an alternative appearance not working all the time, a Touch ID button or a screen to have the ability to have Touch ID inside it might be a good call. The tweet also finally talks about the camera system to get a massive improvement in this league and that does sound really exciting but to be honest it is quite vague to conclude what we will actually be getting. We just saw the addition of a LiDAR sensor to be added to the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max but perhaps it's time that Apple looked to increasing its camera's resolutions beyond 12 megapixels with their bigger sensors inside the phone. Or we could finally see an upgrade to a bigger periscope optical zoom of 5 times, for example to catch up with Android phones. So for release date and price, I normally talk about this first in my video, but as you can see, as we're going to be getting loads of new features like a bigger battery, 120Hz, a camera upgrade, and loads of other bits and pieces, you can probably imagine now that the iPhone 13 will probably have a slight price increase. We expect all models to jump up by 50 to 100 US dollars for this. So expect, for example, the normal iPhone 13 to between 849 to 999 US dollars for the base model compared to $799 at the moment for the iPhone 12. For release date it has been a bit unsure for the iPhone 12 this year due to Covid however if the pandemic does die down for next year we expect the iPhone 13 to come out in September time like it has done in many other years for other iPhone releases or we might see the phone being released again in around mid-October time just like it has for the iPhone 12 if the pandemic does conclude on. So next for design wise we're expecting not many huge changes, more like enhancements to the current iPhone 12 design. The iPhone 12 is the newest design or newest shape since the release of the iPhone 10 or iPhone X in 2017. Apple generally like to keep their same designs in their phones for at least 3 or 4 years and as the iPhone 12 is the newest design we can't really see there will be a huge design change for the next version of the iPhone. For iPhone 13 colours we're expecting the same colours as the iPhone 12 however we may see another new colour introduced. Something that Apple seems to be doing every year now is introducing a new colour to their platter for all their new models however they may also take a colour out. Just like what they did with the iPhone 11 Pro models, we did have the midnight green that has been switched out this year to get the Pacific blue. 
It is also worth noting that we're probably going to be getting four iPhones again. This will be the iPhone 13 mini, the iPhone 13 normal, an iPhone 13 Pro and an iPhone 13 Pro Max. And all four phones will have IP68 at 6 meters again for 30 mins. So this means chucking the phone into a 6 meter deep swimming pool if you can find one or a clean lake on your vacation and you fancy diving down 6 meters within 30 minutes and rescuing it in theory the phone should be but you might not be yourself so i have a few more details in my next video including more information about the iphone 13 camera setup and also the possibility if we will get a fourth camera lens on the back but for now like i said it is very early days but i'd love to know from you if you're excited about the iphone 13 and will you be upgrading to one next year let me know in the comments below well guys, I will say it again, it is very early days. But if you have enjoyed watching this video, please do press the like button. And also at the same time as well, if you wanted the latest information on the iPhone 13 and also that giveaway, and also the latest on gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Until next time guys, see ya.